Dad's Matter. Hello and welcome to Dad's Matter, Understanding Dads, supporting fathers across Norfolk. In this video, we're going to look at how our children's brains are put together to help us understand their behaviour and how we can help them. Did you know that our brain has four main parts to it? Let's have a look at each part and what it does. The oldest bit of our brain, in terms of evolution, is our reptilian brain, or lizard brain. It's 400 million years old. The bit of the brain that keeps us alive by making sure our bodies are working and keeping us breathing. It's not interested in how we feel, it just wants us to stay alive. The next bit of our brain is our monkey brain, or mammalian brain. It's about 250 million years old. It deals with our emotions and our instincts. It's been protecting us for millions of years. When we're faced with danger, the monkey reacts and makes us feel scared, which prepares our body to either fight the danger or run away. It floods our body with adrenaline and makes our heart beat faster, which gives us the energy to do so. But the choice is made by the human bit of the brain. The cortex. It's only 250,000 years old. It's the bit of our brain that looks like a brain. This is the bit that sets us apart from other animals. This is where logic sits, the thinking bit that solves problems, invents and creates. The fourth bit of our brain is in our stomach. It fuels the other bits and creates the chemicals and hormones our brain needs to function. A kind of chemical factory. Ever get the gut feeling that something is not quite right? This is your stomach creating the chemicals for your brain to feel anxious. It's all connected. An example of this is when you're stressed or feeling anticipation, you get butterflies in your tummy. To create the right chemicals, we need to eat the right food or good mood food. Fruit and veg that are high in nutrients our body needs to make us healthy and happy. Refined sugar may be tasty, but it's not good for our children's moods. It gives them a surge of energy followed by a crash and can cause behavioral problems. Our diet is so important for good health, both physically and mentally, as is our environment. When a human baby is born, its lizard and monkey bits of its brain are fully functional. It knows how to breathe and experiences all the emotions, but the cortex needs to do a bit of work. In this video, we will refer to the cortex or the thinking bit as a jockey that sits on top of the other bits, which we will call the horse. A horse is a powerful wild animal driven by emotions. The jockey helps the horse navigate the world, but if our emotions take over, then our horse is bolted. Then the jockey needs to pull the reins back to take control by thinking logically. Our children's jockey needs to be trained to do this and everything that happens to them as they grow up will affect how their jockey performs and how well our children will develop. So, if we provide a calm, loving, stimulating environment, then the jockey will learn that the world is a calm, loving and interesting place to be, which is what we call biopsychosocial. But we'll talk about that in the next video. Thanks for listening. Bye.